Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nigel Dials46 and today we're going to take a look at one of the more affordable, very easy to operate airsoft chronograph for all your airsoft chronograph needs. This is the Ace Tech uh, AC5000 chronograph. Super easy to operate. Um, let's get right into it. One of the things I like about it, again, is it's just really easy to go through. The BBs are going to go right through here and that's how you're going to get your, your rate of fire and your feet per second or meters per second reading. So powering on, super easy. Um, this is going to be ran off of AA batteries, so there you go. Uh, I've already got mine set up for feet per second, but let me take you through the menu here. Okay, so we're going to go back, and that's going to be our reading. So up top, you can see uh, this is going to be your traditional, this is going to be your just kind of default setting. It's going to have your rounds per second and then your feet per second. Uh, let's get a gun and go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm going to be measuring with 0.25 BBs. Let me load this mag up real quick. Okay. Okay, so we've got just a few uh, BBs loaded in there just to kind of give you guys an example of what's going on. So this thing's ready to go, okay? Um, I'm gonna do a shot off screen here. And again, you just aim it up right with the hole and uh, I'll bring it back and show you the results. Stand by. Okay, so that's giving me a reading of 279.2 feet per second. However, I think it's set up with uh, the BB weights being defaulted at a 0.20 gram. So let's go through and fix that real quick. Okay, yeah, so as you can see there in the corner, it's defaulted for 0.20 gram. Uh, it's gonna give you a jewel readout and everything as well, which is really nice. So let's... Here we go, here we go. Okay, so, right. Okay, so going through the ammo there, you're gonna press right on the menu, and then we're gonna go up to the number two setting. That's what we want. That's gonna be, boom, that's default now. So let's get out of here and go back to, so now it's gonna be set up as a 0.25. So we clock this thing with it being set for 0 0.20, let's see what the actual FPS is with a 0.25 gram BB off camera. Be right back. Not much of a difference there. I did two shots uh, and we're getting 275 on that. This is a green gas uh, blowback pistol. So there is gonna be some different readings on it. Let me do one more shot just for consistency. Pretty, pretty consistent, okay. So that's gonna be uh, 274, again, with the green gas blowback right there. Now, I do believe it's programmable uh, for different weight BBs. Let me verify that real quick, be right back. Okay, so it does have some pre-programmed memory slots. So you've got, um, let's see. Menu is suggesting it has about seven, uh, five memory slots, five memory slots programmed in there. So we can change the weight around. So that's cool, man. So uh, if you're running 0.32s, go ahead and set that. Very cool. Um, you know, I would set it for the most popular. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so, you know, I think another popular weight is a 2.8. Let's set that, right? And then uh, let's go down here and set it for a 3.2. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Three, two, which is gonna be another popular weight BB, especially with uh, like Elite Force BBs. And then, cool, okay. Go back into that ammo, because there's one more, yeah, five, okay, 88s. I don't know anybody who's gonna use 88s ever. So here we go, let's change that. Uh, let's get that a little bit more realistic, like a, a point 40 and that's where a lot of people are topping out at you go higher than a point 40 you're doing a lot and um, it's not very common to see over a point 40 out there boom point four zero dig that and I'm gonna go back up and default it back to being a point two zero which is a default for most fields when you chronograph so yeah there you go uh, boom exit um, Let's see, here's where you can change from meters 
to feet per second. I like feet per second. Most of us here in the U.S. do that. Exit on that. Um, automatic power off, which is a nice feature. I set mine to five minutes, but you can go all the way up to like 20 minutes on it. Um, yeah, anywhere from five to 20 minutes. But if it's inactive, it's going to shut off at five minutes, and I'll save the juice on those AA batteries, so I'm cool with that. And backlight, can set the sensitivity of your backlight, your contrast, and all that. So there you go. Let me go the other way. Here we go. Okay. And that'll give you your shot string, too. Uh, so that's the shots that we took um, for those four shots out of that gas blowback pistol right there. So uh, that's nice to have. So you can have an average if you want to average it up or whatever. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I'm not going to go too long in it. Uh, it's just a really nice, handy, lightweight, pretty sturdy little little box here. The AC5000 from Ace Tech. Um, you can pick these things up at time of this recording for around 60 65 bucks. So this is a really good deal to be had. Make sure you check it out at your local favorite airsoft retailer. Shout out to my boys over at uh, Elite Force for sending this over to me to help out with um, some chronograph readings on some of my videos. There you go, guys. What kind of chronograph are you guys using out there? Uh, this seems to be one of the standards that I'm seeing around there just because of its um, availability, its price, and how easy it is to operate. So, uh, do you guys have this one? If not, what do you recommend? What are you using out there for a chronograph system? Thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a like. I beg of you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'll check you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.